Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best brawler for every single rarity inside of Brawl Stars. Whether you like these type of videos, let me know whether you want me to do the worst uh, brawlers for every single rarity as well. But there are actually quite a few changes within the meta, so make sure you're sticking around and going through every single rarity because there definitely will be a few surprises to you guys. The meta has changed quite a bit from uh, the last time I did a tier list. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using a credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so jumping into the best trophy red brawler right now, we have Stu. So it was a tough decision between Stu and Bo, but I think personally that Stu is just a bit better, mainly because you can play him on a bit more modes in competitive rather than Bo. I think Bo is a little bit overrated by the community overall. Like, he is a really strong brawler and is good pretty much everywhere if you're unsure on what to go. But when we're talking literally like the best compositions and the best brawlers for multiple maps, Bo doesn't really cut it for a lot of maps. He's only really like competitive really strong on a uh, game mode like knockout for example and it's really really used on like gold arm gulch uh, but still he's okay like he can be pretty good in hot zone and other game modes but we're here to talk about Stu. so Stu, he's so strong mainly because of his gadget right his gadget i'm still unsure why it's not been changed why there can't be like some sort of decay i just get really cheesy when there's any sort of gadget in the game that don't have any like natural decay like imagine if you just get spawn trap the whole game if they just get ultimate value out of this gadget it's never going to die right but there's other gadgets in the game like leon's lollipop drop for example where it does have that uh, decay over time even if it's a small amount right at least eventually it's going to get worn down whereas with Stu's one it just literally stays on the map for the entirety of the game near enough and also like i wouldn't mind if they buff their health a little bit right maybe like 1500 and make it at least a little bit fair in comparison to the other gadgets but definitely needs that health decay just to make it a little bit more balanced but also it did receive a 100 hp buff as well so that this does definitely help him out in some situations i mean 100 hp actually isn't a lot but you'll take it especially still main so you definitely take that little bit of a buff because i still felt like he had a decent shot in competitive but uh they obviously thought that if there was nothing the breakthrough gadget that they had to buff him in another department so hopefully we can take these guys down nita's going to be one shot she's going to get taken down and we just have this lonely take at 116 hp that is just hilarious but also let me know how you guys got on in the challenge today i thought this challenge was actually one of the most fun challenges i've had in a long time just because i really love that supercharging one especially playing tick and bounty that was pretty uh, funny to play but that's going to be the first rarity let's hop into the next one all right guys so now jumping into the best rare brawler in the game right now no surprises here whatsoever it is poker 100 percent so even with the meta developing normally the top brawlers tend to get countered a little bit but it's not really that many counters to poco he's just so i won't really say noob friendly but so easy to play right he's got such an annoying uh, attack mechanic because you can just literally hit every single shot right so that's why he's so strong because there isn't really any drawback to him literally anyone can play poco it's really low skill cap and he's just really OP, especially with his screeching solo. So I wonder how they'll actually nerf Poco in any way. Because I don't think he deserves too much of a nerf, right? Because it's been a long time since Poco's been viable somewhat on his own. Maybe they should nerf screeching solo a little bit. Uh, just because, like, maybe a 1,000 damage probably a little bit too oppressive. Maybe, like, 800 damage or something. That might be a fair enough nerf for him. But as I said, don't want to nerf him too much because I do love the Poco meta. Specifically, his Screeching Solo is so incredibly fun. And I don't believe as soon as one uh, one brawler becomes meta, even if they're really strong, right? They shouldn't just get completely nerfed and out of the meta because, as I said, it's took such a long time for Poco to even be somewhat relevant in the draft meta. So... Unfortunately, we trained our super in time. But Poco is just so incredibly strong everywhere right now. His best game mode is Hot Zone by far. I mentioned it time and time again. But it's just so easy to get shots right. Because you can literally guarantee yourself a super charge. Just because brawlers are going to have to contest you in the middle right. You're going to charge that super. And it's just going to lead you to just destroy everyone. So that's going to be the best brawler for the rare rarity. Let's hop into the next one. Alright guys, jumping into the best brawler for the super rare rarity. We have Gus. So this one might change. It was really hard. You guys might be a little bit confused on this one but i think gus is incredibly strong maybe i'm overrating him a little bit but in competitive watching a turn of queso cup and gus was played so much i think the main reason being is this gadget this gadget is incredibly op it's actually so oppressive the fact that you can just click the button straight away dealing 1.8k damage is just insane to me definitely needs a little bit of a nerf and it just reminds me of like the trip wire uh, meta right the fact that you can just instantly explode the gadget for 1800 
it is pretty broken. So should be able to get the kill there. Should just be able to run it into the tick as well and heal up. And that's going to be another ghost spawn. And the fact that you can just give your teammates at any point in time uh, that super is just completely just broken. But I also think that uh, some people do find it underwhelming though. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see some buffs to Gus, which does sound strange, right? But I think it's super, it's pretty annoying to use. Uh, if I heard a lot of people complain, uh, which like myself included, that sometimes you just can't get the value out of super. Like it's quite easy to miss, especially at range. So don't be surprised, as I said, if you see some type of buff for it. Don't, I have no idea what this Nita is doing down the left hand side. She needs to get more time. I'm going to get that ghost heal up such a large amount as well. And yeah, Gus, I do love playing him right now. It's so easy to hit. The only biggest counter for him is the fact that tanks don't really... Like it does no damage to tanks, but I feel like in the 3v3 meta, in competitive, like you can easily get away playing with a team and just avoid Gus's weaknesses, right? So I'm just going to run into this tickhead, tank it all, and then run it into this ghost, heal up, and then shoot the Nita and explode it straight away. Just how OP is that? He's got such an amazing kit. Penny and Cole obviously are pretty strong as well. You can easily make a case for both of these, but I think as people get used to Gus in the meta, I think it's going to be so incredibly OP. So that's going to be the best brawler for super rare let's hop into the next one all right guys to so jump in into the best brawler for the epic rarity of course we have b so b is incredibly strong right now b is by far uh, i would say a top five brawler in the meta and so many pro players are screaming for b to be nerfed just because she's such an amazing first pick right now and it's kind of weird how b just becomes one of the best brawlers within the game and it's not even because she received any type of buffs right i just think she can just spam shots on limited her shield stop power is actually incredibly underrated and just overall she can as I said just continuously spam shots out the fact that her damage gear can equal like nearly a 4k damage shot and you can just continue to counter so many different archetypes there's not really many counters to uh, be within the uh while we were in the power league or competitive meta right because beforehand i was kind of talking about this in stream right so before in competitive uh, like over a year ago like there was no draft or anything like that and people use sprout a lot to counter those snipers like beer whatsoever but because of the introduction of gears and just with the introduction of so many aggressive bros you know like janet bonnie that's just to name a few carl as well people don't really go sprout as much within the draft and those type of brawlers that counter B. So yeah, B is just incredibly strong right now. And yeah, I'd be very scared. And I'd be very surprised if it's not a nerf to her. Which again, is completely surprising. I don't know how she's just power crept her way up in the meta. But trust me, she's definitely one of the best brawlers in the game. You just see here, if you can land your shots and consistently have good aim, you're going to be able to literally carry a 1v3. We've seen this already in games like Brawl Whenever it goes to overtime, like a good B will absolutely hard carry you. And it's just the case in every single game mode right now. So just trying to land these shots consistently here should be able to get the call down pretty much just um Torpet actually is going to heal me up and that's actually one instance I probably didn't want to be healed up because I wanted to keep my distance and keep that 3k shot uh, just to land so much damage but these guys really need to do something else they're about to lose so I'm going to use my gadget to tank a little bit right there got to take down the stew as well and I've literally stayed alive for the entirety of the game and the fact as well that you can literally once you uh, slow someone of course you can just spam more to aim and you're just going to consistently hit those shots so that is going to be the best brawler for this rarity let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the best mythic brawler right now should be no surprises here whatsoever we have max so max is incredibly op in this meta we all thought though at the beginning that max was probably going to be the best brawler in the meta we were a little bit wrong but of course we could make that judgment because the brawlers like crow uh were nerfed heavily and i thought crow would literally be like the worst brawler well not the worst brawler one of the worst brawlers in the game uh but it looks like the gadget didn't really do too much to him he's still a decent counter to max and just overall uh max is still pretty op i'm definitely i would say the best mythic like mythic brawlers right now off the top of my head don't really seem to be best like brawlers like tara mortis byron like all of these brawlers aren't really used too much within the competitive meta but max is definitely one of these brawlers that can absolutely pop off and it's a brawler that requires like a lot of team synergy you can get uh, so much synergy with so many different brawlers with max so yeah definitely uh be careful uh, if you're facing off against a good max because they can wiggle around like crazy create so much space and be just so aggressive also as well like the reason why max i know i'm supposed to be saying how good max is right but uh, in comparison to some of the other brawlers like brawlers like b and poco counter max probably a little bit too much that's probably why you don't see her being used that often anymore but yeah you do still see her used in game modes like brawl for example where you can easily make a goal out of nothing 
and we should be able to okay not a like probably a couple of percentage away from winning the game overall but just love max right now you can definitely make a case for gene as well because gene is such a strong first pick in certain game modes like knockout bounty i think pretty much every single game mode you can actually get away with going to gene but uh the main reason why i put max above is because it feels like you can carry probably a little bit better with a max so hopefully we can heal up here and try and finish off this game and get a win looks like should be able to sneak behind these guys and that's probably going to be the uh, final that's going to be the final kill brother so that's going to be the best mythic brawler let's hop into the next one all right guys and now jumping into the best legendary brawler right now we have amber so you might be surprised by this one a little bit but ever since the nerf to crow Bros like Amber have just became even better. So I think Amber is the best legendary right now. And I would say legendaries are actually at the worst point they've near enough ever been in well, the history well not even the history of Bruce it's just what I can remember, right? So like brothers like Spike are okay, but a little bit too squishy in this meta. Uh brothers, uh well Sandy's just really bad, right? It takes so long to get a Sandy super. You also have uh, the likes. I'm trying to think of other legends. How can I think of the other legends top my head? Like Leon is counted too much by the vision gear. You're also uh, trying to have a think. Crow obviously got nerfed pretty recently. You've got Meg as well, who's literally always been one of the worst brothers within the game. Uh, so yeah, it's legendary is pretty rough for all uh, people that love legendaries. There was a time where literally like brothers like Gene, Leon, Crow were all like the best brothers in the game. But unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. So yeah, the reason why Amber is so strong, right? Anyway, I'm back onto the topic is because she can just crowd control so easily with her super. A super actually does an underrated amount of damage, like 2,880. Like that is quite a lot of damage to be honest she's really easy to hit shots with and just overall i just love the star power being able to chain super so easily uh just makes it really oppressive as i said and for some reason just certain brothers just seem to come in and out of the meta and i would say that this is definitely a type of meta for amber for some reason she's being played so much in competitive sometimes i can't put my finger on some of these things right but because of the play rate and the win rate especially in hot zone like she has to be one of the best brothers within the game right now and mainly well definitely the best uh, legendary because there's not really many great legendary brawlers right now so we're going to clutch up there and get the win but that's going to be the best legendary brawler let's hop into the best chromatic all right guys jumping into the final rarity we have chromatic and the best brawler for the chromatic you guys are going to be really surprised by this one i feel like it is otis i think otis is incredibly broken right now and you guys probably still feel like otis is, isn't even the best but trust me try him out for a little bit you guys probably still think he's like the worst brawler within the game right now but i think he's so incredibly strong within power league whenever i draft him he's literally the carry brawler in competitive he's used pretty much every single time if he's not used it's because he's banned right because he's just usable on every single map his super is so strong it charges a quarter of your next super if you land one and also deals at least a, a thousand damage uh, so you can also just mute people at long range now that used to be the biggest problem about otis that you used to get no value at muting people from range but now you can just cycle that super so easily also his main attack is just pretty easy to hit and he actually does quite a lot of damage like i feel like you can easily burst people down with the other star power as well so yeah otis has literally gone from one of the worst brawlers in the game to literally the best that is kind of crazy i think he actually could be the best brawler in the game right now Probably will play test it around for probably one more week and probably do a uh, new tier list just because the meta has changed quite a fair bit. And, you know, people looking at my last tier list probably still think that Otis is pretty bad, right? But I think it's the best chromatic, but you could easily make a case uh, for Janet as well because Janet is a brawler that you can pretty much go every single game mode as well. But just because of the firepower of Otis, I feel like I have to put him near the top right now. It's super, is so strong. It's so, I, I don't know, I don't get any real satisfaction out of muting though. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I much prefer all the other supers in the game. It's going to be one of the most boring supers for me, but it's incredibly toxic. You have basically no counterplay against it in this type of meta because it also poisons you down as well. And yeah, you just, seem to just get destroyed a lot of the time so we're gonna try and land them you onto the m's here and that's actually gonna kill the m's which is uh, pretty strong uh we actually have no time to heal up there because we've only got a bit of percentage left but let me know what you think of otis whether he's much worse in lower trophies or whatever else i reckon not many people have got in power 11 as well because of just how awful he was at the beginning looks like i'm getting dodged on by this m's a little bit too much so yeah you still got to get used to the shot mechanics a little bit but once you do get used to it at range you will start to hit more shots but i literally have no practice with otis and i still pop off as much so i do miss them you also as well 
you don't tend to auto aim the mute at range like i tried to do there because you will probably miss but that's going to be it for today's video guys let me know whether you change anything there are a few controversial ones but i think this is pretty solid like otis is probably one of the best brawlers within the game right uh, so i don't think that's too controversial amber as well is growing a lot in uh, popularity and competitive so yeah that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time